Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, here's like 120 percent of his income and bonus he gives away. I mean, yeah. he doesn't need the money. Steve Wynn could and shut down tomorrow, but you know something? He wants to keep building. It's in him. Now, I actually had the the honor of of meeting this guy mm-hmm. once when I was out in in Vegas, and you know, I, I I he heard I was in the hotel, and and so we had wanted to meet up. I've interviewed him a number of times over the years. And I thought it was going to be a five-minute hello, meet and greet now. Get the hell out of here, kid. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I spent hours with him. But he explained in such detail how he built every hotel that he built. I did the same thing once with Sheldon Adelson. I mean, their their stories, their, their vision, their innovation. Anyway, here's what he said. It's pretty amazing, and I think it will probably fit into what your husband is doing. But... You know that for the past 45 years, I've always been in construction in Nevada. I've created about 250,000 direct and indirect jobs, according to the state of Nevada's measurement. That's exactly, what if the number's 250,000, that's exactly 250,000 more than this president, who I'll be damned if I want to have him lecture me about small business and jobs. I'm a job creator. Guys like me are job creators, and we don't like having a bullseye painted on our back and having class. The president has tried to put himself between between me and my employees. How? By class what? warfare. By, by, by deprecating and calling a group that makes money billionaires and millionaires that don't pay their share. I gave 120% of my salary and bonus away last year to charities, as I do most years. I can't stand the idea of being demagogue that is put down by a president who's never created any jobs and who doesn't even understand how the economy works. Now, I got to tell you, I haven't been out at the wind. A couple of times. Uh, and I spent my, you know, three hours playing blackjack and hanging out <laughs> and acting like an idiot smoking a cigar or something. And uh, I got to tell you, everybody that I met loves him. I mean, yeah. I mean, r- Obama, waiters. Obama, yeah. simply put, is killing the American dream with these taxes. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, here's like 120 percent of his income and bonus he gives away. I mean, yep. he doesn't need the money. Steve Wynn could and, shut down tomorrow, but you know something? He wants to keep building. It's in him. And one thing that, that these risk takers never mention, they, they, they sometimes lose money. Yes. They put it at risk. Sometimes, oh, whoops, that project wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be.